Hey Rebels, I haven't hopped on here much lately. Um, and instead of talking about a topic today, I kind of wanted to share um, a starter post for um, an experience I'm going to be going through. Um, so you may remember one of my more recent posts um, talking about something new I was trying for my health and my weight. Um, and I don't remember how specific I was, but that thing was intermittent fasting. So I've been doing that um, since the very tail end of February. So basically March, April, May, and June. So that's four months, but honestly, two months of that, um, I wasn't super committed. I was still staying in a window, but I wasn't watching what I was eating at all, really, just because um, we had gone, been going to a move and um, all kinds of stuff. So I had a lot going on at that point. But I've been back on track again for um, the last month. Um, and in total of my time spent focusing on it, I've lost about 20 pounds now. So it's finally something I'm finding that's basically the only thing that works for my body for weight loss. And it's been really good. And I did a certification program on uh, intermittent fasting in general. And then um, I've also been helping several people I know get on that path as well. So it's been really fun to see their progress. There's basically almost nothing I feel like um, water fasting can't heal. I'm a huge believer in extended water fasts for deep healing. And um, intermittent fasting and water fasting are two different things, really. Um, same basic concept, but when you're eating only in um, windows, uh, you know, you're eating your full daily allotment of calories within a certain time window rather than just all throughout the day. That's intermittent fasting, and it's very healing. It's good for healing insulin resistance and other issues, but it's not going to do that deep tissue regeneration that water fasting is going to offer in that water fasting can heal so many chronic diseases, and it basically resets your system as a whole. You get into that autophagy and um, that really deep, like, primal healing place that humans are actually capable of getting into. However, extended fasting is really, really difficult to put into practice. As much as I believe in it, it's a struggle to go there, especially for me emotionally. Um, in my much younger years as a teenager and very early 20s, I, I really struggled with um, an eating disorder. And eating disorders and fasting really are two very different things. It's all about your intention, what you're healing. It's not starvation. You know, eating disorders go beyond where you're like, there's no more fat left in my body, but I continue to starve myself for a psychological purpose. You know, um, you're punishing yourself. You're not coming from a place of self-love at all. Whereas to do fasting for healing and spiritual growth, it's it's a much different place you're coming from in the first place. You're not um, you're not coming from a place of self-loathing and you're not trying to hurt yourself, you're trying to heal yourself. So just emotionally and spiritually it's a very different thing, but also physically because um, you would not fast beyond what your fat stores have to offer other than just um, your maintenance mode where you're like, okay, I don't want to go back to grazing because that's not good for my body personally. Um, but, you know, I no longer have a need to do an extended water fast. I, you know, I have burnt off a lot of these toxins through ketosis or whatever. Um, so anyway, just to say they are a different place. But for me, it's a struggle emotionally because... When I've tried to do extended water fast, it sort of takes me back to that place. Um, not, not spiritually, like it doesn't make me start wanting to question my self-love or things like that, but it does take me back there mentally of like just remembering the struggle I had and it invokes so many of the same feelings and, you know, even just physically where it just takes you back there and that's difficult for me. Because I think I must still have some healing to do um, for all the self-punishing I really did. You know, um, I I definitely had no self-love for myself um, as a younger person. Which is very sad to admit to, but it was true and it's not true for me now. But, um, you know, it's always kind of a struggle to... Um, 
to kind of go back there and revisit some of those mental process processes we had. Um, but that said, I am needing to do a water fast. Um, and I've been needing to do one for years. Um, but every time I try, I either quit because I do have a certain something in me that um, sort of calls uncle really early when I get uncomfortable. And that's something I need to work on. Um, but also, you know, there's always something getting in the way. You have an event coming up or whatever. But truly, I've needed to do this for myself. And it's something I deeply want to experience um, beyond just, you know, the day or two of skipping. You know, that's just intermittent fasting, really. You don't really get into the real stages of healing until you're past day three. You know, and... A seven-day water fast is great, but it's really just going to scratch the surface, balance out some of your your levels that you have going on in your body. An extended water fast is going to be deeply healing. And for me, I have several issues I want to resolve, and embarrassing as though some of them may be, I'm just going to put it out there because I'm hoping to make this sort of like a journal, which is the point of this video. This is where I'm starting from. I do have some clips that um, maybe towards the end I will put in of kind of you know, the state my body is in right now, but um, more so it's other things for me. I have some gum issues that I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos, and they're just, they're, they've are they been swollen for years, like 2015 maybe, 2014 even, they have been swollen um, for so long, and a couple things have helped, and so I'm going to do those things as well. Um, specifically, swishing with xylitol has been, it really changed my gums a lot because they were a lot worse. And they've stayed good even when I've stopped doing that, or stayed better even when I've stopped doing that. But I'm still feeling my teeth shifting, and my, these teeth used to be even, like kind of more how this side is. This side has gone all rogue. My tooth didn't used to look like that. There didn't used to be that big of a space there. I've always had spaced out teeth a little bit, but this has changed a lot in the last few years. And, you know, I'm thinking maybe once the swelling goes down, healing that, I might be able to um, do something about it at that point. But even if I wanted to get a, a retainer or something, there's not a lot they can do with the state my gums are in. Um, I have a particular vice that um, I'm hoping that this will spiritually help me um, work work through. Um, and my skin isn't really great. I mean, it's way better than it used to be, for sure. But, um, you know, I mean, I used to have so much acne, and it's really not bad. Right now, you actually see two. I have two for sure that I need to um, clear up. But it's more just hormonal for me, and that is a part of why I need to heal insulin resistance. Um, I believe I have PCOS. I definitely have the insulin resistance. And so I also get hormonal acne at times. Um, but really, it's just the condition. You know, I, I'd like a little more, a little more liveliness to my skin, a little more glow. Um, you know, just a little like blah looking right now in its, in its appearance. And I think that we can do more than just survive. We can thrive too. Um, you know, I definitely have some stubborn weight that I have struggled to lose for years. And, um, you know, there's that aspect of it, but my main focus is not so much even physical as it is. Um, I am mostly looking to journal the expansion of consciousness that I'm hoping to experience through this. <clears throat> um, I've been working a lot on consistent meditations, um, developing some more psychic awareness and some of the more, some of the, uh, I guess you could say like psychic abilities that we all have, but the ones that come more naturally to me than others and sort of starting there, focusing on that. And I feel like the closer we get to breatharianism, you know, the, um, 
the more expansion we are able to achieve at times, and this is going to be different for everyone, and I'm not saying necessarily to live your life in a constant state of breatharianism. You know, we have a physical body that we need to care for and um, protect, and um, that's an important aspect of uh, loving ourselves, you know, as well. But I do want to um, move towards being more removed from the dependence on food, especially primarily the emotional dependence where if something devastates your day, you're sort of like, well, screw it. I'm going to eat whatever I want. Um, you know, whatever. For me, especially, um, I've been really trying to make an effort to stay totally gluten-free. Um, and I've been doing really well in comparison to my usual because that's what my body needs. My body needs me to avoid gluten and grains. Grains are much harder to avoid. But um, gluten is a struggle. You know, I grew up on bread and <laughs> all of that. Um, so that is tough, but I need to honor what my body tells me. And I am looking forward to getting any remnants of things that are not serving me. Um, detoxed from my system. And I'm really just looking forward to the spiritual experience that water fasting is going to bring me. And I look forward to mainly vlogging about that. Um, I am not going to put a time on my fast. You know, some people do 21 days, 30 days, 100 days, whatever. I'm not going to put a time on that. I'm going to just um, do what I can. You know, maybe my first time will be like, you know, three days, or maybe it will be 30 or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to just do my best and not put restrictions on myself as far as like when I tap out, I'm going to tap out, you know, but my goal is to go as long as I'm able to continue to get the most benefits. And I, my plan is, is to not make this my only fast in the near future. I want to, you know, maybe if at some point I end this fast, say after five days or something, then I'd like to get right back into it after I have whatever, you know, um, responsible meal I feel I need to have. Um, and this is just my own personal experience. I'm not recommending anyone do this without the supervision of a doctor and yada yada. But um, it is important if you ever decide to do this that you are responsible about it. That you're aware of what's going on in your body. That you have done research and study. And that, um, especially that, you come off of your fast in a responsible way. Don't ever come off a fast at the McDonald's drive through You know? Um, and that in and of itself is not self-respect. Um, and your body can't handle it. You know, you want to come off, you know, start on some lemon water. Work up to, like, pure watermelon juice or whatever. Um, work up to a very high water content fruit, like watermelon. Um, work in the tender greens a little at a time. And that's another big thing for me, is I am hoping to adjust my palate a bit. Um, I struggle with... I would say I eat a lot of vegetables, but I struggle with it. Um, you know, especially greens. I'd really like to change my palate. And obviously through fasting, if you've ever seen anyone break their fast, they're just like, you could have fed them grass and they would have been like, oh, I'm so grateful for this. You know, it's just such an incredible experience. And I look forward to having that and changing my relationship with food. And mostly I just want to spend this time in um, a deep meditation, in healing some inner child things that I'm hoping to work on. I think there's going to be some shadow work involved. Um, there are just quite a few things that as I'm getting older, they're piling up and piling up and I'm like, okay, just one of these things. I was like, I should fast through this. I should work this out through a fast and I didn't. And now I've got like 15 things. <laughs> and so this is probably going to take me more than one. And honestly, the way that I would prefer my life to go in future would be, I hope to go towards a direction where fasting and extended fasting is just a standard part of my life. It's not an experiment or something I'm doing or whatever. It's more like for me, I'm going to say this is my first step 
to um, this ideal lifestyle that I feel is right for me. Um, I feel like intermittent fasting and extended water fasting is an ideal part of at least my life um, and would be. For me, intermittent fasting, I feel my best. I feel much better. Um, my digestive problems have significantly decreased. My skin has gotten better. Um, my energy is, is better a lot of the time. Um, yeah, I feel like my brain fog is less. That sort of thing. And I have had more energy to do more of the things that I love. And I'd like to focus on finishing my books that I've been writing and reading and working on my yoga practice, the meditation, doing some shadow work. Um, I am learning some different healing modalities, so this is a good time to do it. Spending time with my daughter and working on some parenting aspects that um, need my attention. Parenting aspects for me, I should say, not necessarily her. And um, also simplifying some more my my life here, um, and simplifying my internal life as well. Um, there's just a lot of development I'm ready to see happen for myself, and um, I really feel like. It just feels like the right choice for me, and it may not be for everybody, but for me, this is the path that I'm looking to go down, and so I'm putting it out there because now I have this accountability. Um, I'm looking forward to um, getting in the gym soon as well. I've enjoyed uh, weight training, and I've had some time off because I had to uh, cancel my gym membership when we moved, so in some time, I'm going to renew my gym membership and um, enjoy this thing that that I actually kind of like. I do not like cardio, <laughs> um, but I do enjoy weight training. That's been that's been nice for me. It feels good on my body. So, um, also going to try out Tai Chi. Uh, it's not something I've actually done before. I'm familiar with it. I watched a video about it last night as well about its origins and history and things like that. Um, and it it's calling to me a little bit. I don't know what that's about, but I'm going to explore it. Um, and I've been having that experience a lot with a lot of spiritual aspect, things that are calling to me. And I recently met my spirit guide, which I think that I will make a video about, possibly. Um, but that was, it almost brings me to tears every time I want to talk about it. Um, but I cry on every video, so I can't do that. <laughs> but it was an incredible experience, um. The second I saw him in my meditation, it was just this overwhelming feeling of, oh, I love you and you love me. I can't believe I forgot about you. You look, you're just this immediate familiarity, you know? Um, and I was trying to piece together, who does he remind me of in this life? Because I know this person. And I was pairing together like he reminds me a lot of my father's soul right now and maybe he was also incarnate and also in the spirit world. But as I've been thinking that over, I think really what I am seeing is just this, um, I really could have pulled this back forever ago for more light and it just didn't occur to me. Um, I think what I'm seeing is just this intense feeling of familiarity, like I have known you for eons, and I cannot believe I didn't know you were here. I remember you. Oh my gosh, I missed you. Uh, it was just, it was such a good feeling on my end. And just remembering someone you love so much. And I just know that this is my main guide. This is the person that meets me at the end of every life. And uh, the feeling that sometimes humans get of loneliness, um, it just felt gone. It was like, how can I ever be lonely or upset by anything ever again when I know that this person is just always with me? 
And it's probably how religious people feel a little bit about Jesus, right? <laughs> um, I don't know if I ever felt that way just because I was born into it and it was just like, God's there. Yeah, that's what I'm told. That's what I know. But this was like, uh, you came, like in this experience, it was, I did not know for sure about guides to like, oh my God, hi. <laughs> you know, how did I forget you? And just this intense feeling of compassion and love and that this guide loves you exactly where you are for exactly what you are and they're always there for your highest good and it doesn't feel one-sided to me um like they're just there as my genie or like praying to god and, and god's supposed to answer your prayers it doesn't feel that way to me it feels like a dynamic relationship as though we've spent many lifetimes together but maybe in this one um, this guide is not incarnate anymore or is not incarnate now. I, I don't know. I may never know, but, um, yeah, tonight I am going to a, um, a psychic development class. Um, and this one is, I believe on past lives, past life regressions. And I've actually been trying to get some of those to come through, through meditation and I've not been successful yet. So it will be interesting to hear what the instructor has to say and what their dynamic will be in this class. Are they going to be regressing us? Are they going to be just telling us about it? I don't know, but we'll see. And maybe I will update here at this point. Um, but yeah, anyway, way off topic. I get really excited about the guide thing now. So I probably should make a video just about that. I do get really excited about it. So, um, that was a rabbit trail. Um, Actually, I will just tell you, um, his name is Christopher, in case I refer to him in future. When I say Christopher, that is how my guide introduced himself to me, which is funny because that is not a name I would have ever pulled out of my head. Um, I'm not even sure it's a name that, sorry, Christopher, that I like. You know, I wouldn't have just made it up. But during my guided meditation, I asked him, what's your name? And I just heard Christopher the name that came in my head and I was like wow yes I see you now you know and um I've I am able to sense him a lot now here and maybe I always did but just didn't know that's what it was I don't know but I know now and um anyway the main point of this video was um the main point of this video was to talk about the spiritual water fast that I'm going to be doing and I may throw in some physical things here and there and what I'm experiencing, but um, the main focus is going to be on the spiritual aspect and how it is expanding my consciousness, um, how I am growing spiritually and emotionally, and just what changes I'm seeing there. So, um, I guess if anyone cares... <laughs> I believe I am, um, well, actually, I, I was on vacation this weekend and gained, like, five pounds because I ate gluten. Um, I gained eight pounds, I think, actually. Um, but my weight earlier in the week was, um, 156, I believe, 156. Um, and this morning I got a mixed result on my scale. My scale might be a little wonky, but it was somewhere between, like, 159 and 161. So a little bit of water weight I'm hanging on to because of the carbs from the gluten and things like that. Um, but I am 5'6", just so you know. And um, again, mostly wanting to heal some oral things. Um, in, in, in my dental situation, I have, a, I have actually two broken teeth. Um, One's pretty much totally actually broken out now. There's not really a tooth left there in, in the back in my molar. And my other, same molar on the other side, that one's just broken. Um, and I just have a lot of dental things going on. Um, so maybe I can work through my fear of dentists too. <laughs> Otherwise, it's fine. It's mostly the inflammation, just because I don't know where it came from. Um, it seemed fine, and then one day a few years ago, it just was inflamed, and... It's like, no matter what I've done, it's never gone away. I don't really know what that's about. So, um, that. And yeah, so this video was longer than I meant for it to be. <laughs> Thank you for watching and wish me luck. I will check in soon.